All right, seed heads, it's that time of year, the end of spring going into summer with the weather going up and down a bit and it's starting to get warmer and you know you get a week of cold, week of warm, that's when seed heads will pop out in warm seasons and lawns such as my Tiff Tough Cooch here. Seed heads tend to get a bit of a bad rap and maybe they shouldn't but uh, let's have a talk about it. First off we'll have a look at my lawn here, it's all nice and tight and controlled dark green looking great hardly any seed heads although there's a few that want to try and poke through around here but I think I've got most of them gone so we'll talk about how I got rid of them in my lawn in a sec but uh, let's go across the road there's some common cooch across the road here it's not looked after or anything and it's just uh, it's just there growing in between pavers I'm sure there'll be plenty of seed heads there so let's go check that out And sure as eggs, some common cooch here. And this is a seed head. So yes, this is a seed head, quite a big one. It's uh, obviously not managed over there compared to you know, the green lawn here. Mind the weeds out the front, I've got to do a bit. <laughs> Just want to let you know that I'm smiling and happy. It's a great day. I've started six weeks leave from work today. Fantastic. I'm wrapped about that. That means lots of content for lawn porn. I'm going to be doing mostly a staycation. Yeah, five solid weeks of making lots of content. So be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me grow. And uh, yeah, let's get back into the, the, the seed head thing. These kind of get a bad rap. When these pop up, I get the million questions uh, about them. And these, this is a cooch type. People think that they're weeds. They're not. They're actually a normal part of the plant, and it's a normal part of the process to throw up seed heads. Now, a hybrid cooch like mine, which is basically an engineered cooch from different types of cooches to get the qualities that they want for a cooch that they, you know, sell. And this is why it's sold as sod, as rollout lawn rather than seed, because the seed heads that these things produce basically are not going to do anything. Those seeds uh, don't do anything at all. They might do with the common cooch, which is this, this example here, but um, the, my type and the types that you get from turf farms and everything else, they're not gonna have uh, any value whatsoever. So the problem is these start popping up and they kind of look ugly compared to the rest of the low cut lawn. And just realize it is a natural process just a little bit of stress with the heat, just tells the lawn going, hmm, could be bad times ahead. I might throw out some seed heads to uh, go and, uh, and grow into new areas and become new grass, even though these seed heads don't do anything. What to do with seed heads? Quite simply, there's a bit of a process to it. And look, don't worry, they usually last about two or three weeks and then they've gone. They're really quite hard to mow because they've got like these bendy stalks. I've probably bent this one a little bit a few too many times. I'll go up a little bit. They bend over. So when it's mowed, basically the mower doesn't get it all and it kind of half strips it. And then next thing you know, you've got all these sort of like ugly gray hairs within your lawn. And it doesn't look quite so good. What you can do about seed heads is a product called Plant Growth Regulator. During the growing season, use Plant Growth Regulator regularly. I use Primo Max, and basically that will reduce the number of seed heads and how high they go. That's basically the way to control them. And you might not always control them. Some still might get out, and you know, don't worry about it too much. It isn't gonna last too long. Yeah, basically, if you keep mowing them, they'll give up and then it will go away. I mentioned before, you know, I don't have them in my lawn. Well, I've got a few, but they're very controlled. What basically happened is a few weeks ago, I did a plant growth regulator, 10 mils per the 100 square meters mixed with green light. At, uh, I, think we, I think it was 300 mils per the 100 square meters and green light will basically cover up any discoloration that Primo Max can do. And, you know, we had a week of really uh, warm weather followed by rain, followed by a bit of cooler weather and then, then a bit more warm weather all within a week. It was all a bit crazy. So the growing degree days, which is what I'm following in the 
uh, Sygenta uh, turf app. So basically I've got that set to 200. So when it hits 200, it's time to use plant growth regulator again. And it's been quite interesting. It's my first season using it and uh, I'm learning quite a lot because what I used to do is I used to do a monthly application of plant growth regulator and sort of realized that at the end, week and a week and a bit, you know, I just have to mow it a bit more because the plant growth regulator would wear off and it would send the, uh, send the lawn into, you know, a growth spurt. So basically I'm trying to control that a little bit more. So on uh, two days ago, I saw that the uh, seed heads are about to come out in an area and uh, I didn't film this, but basically uh, before I did the mow, I uh, put plant growth regulator down 20 mils per the 100 square metres, basically because the season's getting a bit more warmer uh, and whatnot, and with uh, green light 400 mils per the 100 square metres just to cover up any discoloration that may happen. And then the next day I mowed at 7 mil. So you might notice in some of my, uh, some of my bits that I've mowed, it's a little bit hard to see because a couple of days after, but... Um, gone into the crown just a little bit in a few little areas. My recommendation is if you're just an ordinary lawn person, don't worry about seed heads too much. Just uh, mow a bit more often, they'll soon go away. If they are mucking with your chi, well then start getting into using plant growth regulator and uh, they will lessen the amount of seed heads and they will uh, lessen the height of them. And Combine that with the mowing and normal care, you won't see them at all. All right, I hope this helped you. If you can get some value out of this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps me grow. Catch your lawn on. We'll see you in the next one.